Hello everyone. Uh, this is a core discourse. This course is the physics of uh, magnetism and superconductivity. Uh, anyway, this this course deals with with the bare fundamental theory of magnetism and superconductivity. We do not interested in the, in the applied magnetism and applied superconductivity, but uh, this course only focuses on the uh, fundamental theory, you know, for example, quantum uh, theory of magnetism and uh, BCS theory and Ginzburg Landau theory in superconductivity. Uh, as you know, the magnet is widely used in our daily lives. Uh, for example, we use um, refrigerator door, uh, there is a magnet, and also a motor, motor and generator. And uh, we use the uh, magnetic materials, uh, hard magnetic materials and uh, soft magnetic materials. But uh, uh, supernativity is not popular in our uh, daily lives at present because uh, supernativity behavior uh, observed is in very low temperature. And, uh, but uh, nowadays, there, was, there were several reports on the uh, room temperature supernativity in the hydride supernativity materials. Anyway, in, in our course, uh, we, uh, we study the fundamental understanding of the magnetism and supernativity. Uh, let's start the basic problem, basic definition. And uh, mm, uh, this, the, here is the, the first course is the, the first course is the introduction. The chapter one. Chapter one is the basic magnetism. Now, uh, uh, let me introduce magnetic moments. Uh, what is the what causes magneti, magne, uh, magnetism? Is the uh, basically magnetic moment is a basic unit, basic building block of uh, magnetism. You know, for example, when we study the uh, fundamental fundamental physics or the general physics, and uh, the magnetic moment is generated by the circulating current. For example, uh, by circulating current in a loop. The current is I, and there is a magnetic field is generated with a right-handed direction. And the right-handed direction means that uh, this direction. Uh, here, uh, when you when you turn around the uh, uh, four fingers, then the mm, the thumb uh, pointed uh, pointed direction, mm, pointing direction of the thumb is the uh, is the magnetic moment direction. Here, there is a magnetic moment generation, which is the identical to the magnetic field generation by circulating uh, electric current. This is a, a basic understanding, and that this is a fundamental unit of the magnetic moment we, st we should study. And therefore, in classical electromagnetism, Magnetic moment is defined, uh, D means that the infinitesimal magnetic moment. Infinitesimal magnetic moment is, uh, is defined by the IDS. Here, S is the infinitesimal area. Uh, why we use the infinitesimal area is that uh, here is the bulk magnetic bulk, uh, bulk materials, for example, when it is bulk material, Then uh, we can find that we can uh, magnetic moment has a separated uh, region like this. Uh, for, exa for example, this is a small tiny area of the circulating uh, circulating current can be uh, can be considered. Uh, in this case, this small area is a ds, means that uh, infinitesimal area. And a small infinitesimal area generating the magnetic moment. Therefore, uh, the uh, magnetic moment is defined by the uh, uh, electric current. When the circulating electric current at 
in a very small infinitesimal area, then the many moment is generated. Therefore, many moment is this kind of uh, generation of the magnetic field. Here, the ampere, uh, the unit of a electric current is the ampere, and the area, the area dimension is the meter square. Therefore, magnetic moment, magnetic moment dimension is the ampere meter square. Uh, here, this is a uh, uh, elect element. Uh, ds means that this is the elementary area area vector. Uh, this is uh, elementary area vector. It is uh, the direction is defined by the right hand rule, and uh, when you circulating the electric current direction by the four fingers. And the thumb direction, direction of thumb is the uh, area direction. Uh, the, the, that is the definition of the elementary area vector. Therefore, the total magnetic moment is defined by the, the summation of the small infinitesimal magnetic moment. Here, I, if the current is is uh, is a constant, irrespective with the area, ds. This is a uh, the uh, mm, classical electromagnetism say that the uh, magnetic moment is generated by the circulating electric current. But actually, when we think about the quantum mechanics, it is not a simple problem for the definition of the magnetic moment. And uh, there is uh, two species of uh, generating a magnetic moment. One is the spin, the other one is the angular momentum. Uh, what is the I said about the angular momentum? And uh, uh, what is the angular momentum? You know, uh, momentum in classical mechanics, you know, the momentum is defined by the mv. This is a classical, uh, classical momentum. And the uh, angular momentum is so I cross P. Here is the m. R cross V is a classical uh, angular momentum, but uh, uh, in uh, in electro in electromagnetism and uh, associated magnetic moment is associated with the, with the angular momentum, and uh, by generating the electric current have a direction of a magnetic moment, and the magnetic moment is coming from the angular momentum because uh, basically. The, when we, the circulating of electric current means that the circulating motion of electron. And the circulating motion of electron means that we can define that uh, uh, angular momentum. Uh, here, we, uh, there is a relation with the magnetic moment and the angular momentum. It is proportional, proportional behavior and the proportional factor constant we define by the, by the, the gamma. And uh, here, gamma means that the gyromagnetic ratio. Uh, here, the gyromagnetic ratio is the proportional constant between the magnetic moment and angular momentum. Uh, there is an apparatus to measure the uh, angular momentum. And uh, there is an einstein de Hasse effect. Einstein Duhasse effect is that uh, there is a torsional oscillator. Torsional oscillator is the rotating oscillator. To, uh, there is a fiber. Uh, there, uh, the torsion fiber here, and uh, here is the magnet. This is ferromagnet. For example, it is a ferromagnet. Ferromagnet means that uh, typical magnet. Then I will say about that uh, what is the kind or uh, what different kinds of magnetism, for example, ferromagnet, antiferromagnet, and paramagnet, and uh, there are several uh, magnetic materials. And uh, but uh, ferromagnet is the uh, conventional magnet materials what we experience in the every every day everyday lives, uh, refrigerator and motors like that. And uh, here is the ferromagnetic uh, material. And uh, 
coin is rounded. Mm, there is a coil. Actually, uh, at first, initially, initially the ferromagnet is unmagnetized. Unmagnetized means that the angular momentum is zero. Uh, it, it, here is the coil, electric coil, and uh, we will uh, mm, apply magnetic field by the following, by flowing current current through this coil. When we have the electric current in this direction, anyway, we I don't know the exact direction. In this case. Uh, let's define that. Let's define that there is a generation of a magnetic field inside a coil. Magnetic field. Here we we denote as H. Uh, here applying magnetic field we denote H. And uh, here the second second step is the apply magnetic field. Mm, non-zero fill, apply non-zero fill by the uh, current flowing in the coil. Then, uh, in that case, because applying magnetic field is generated, the ferromagnet is magnetized. Ferromagnet is magnetized. Uh, therefore, we define that the generation of magnetic moment is associated with the angular momentum. Uh, therefore, the angular momentum becomes non, non, not zero. But uh, as you know, uh, we, we already know that uh, angular momentum conservation and uh, initially, initially angular momentum is zero, but uh, when we apply magnetic field, the angular momentum is not zero and uh, therefore angular momentum conservation uh, in, in this case uh, let's think about the angular momentum in this case and uh, where there is the minus L direction angular momentum should be generated uh, here is the also non-zero value and the direction should be reversed. And here the uh, this ferromagnet magnetized angular momentum is the intrinsic magnetic moment defined intrinsic angular moment. But uh, in this case, this is a mechanical angular moment. This is a mechanical. Mechanical angular moment means that uh, angular momentum, uh, mechanical angular moment momentum is that the rotation, rotation of the uh, ferromagnetic uh, materials. And therefore, by the torsional, torsional behavior on the ferromagnet, we can, uh, we can measure the uh, magnet, uh, mag magnetic moment by measuring the angular momentum of the ferromagnet. And therefore, at the final stage, we can measure magnetization and angular momentum uh, therefore uh, by measuring the magnetization and angular momentum of the rod then we can estimate we can deduce the gyromagnetic ratio uh, for example gyromagnetic ratio gamma as we defined in the above and this is a basic um, principle to measure the angular momentum and the uh, magnetic moment on the materials. Nowadays, there are many experimental facilities to measure the magnetization. Then the in our lab also have the VSM system, vibrating sample magnetometer system, and also it uh, deduces for, uh, deduces magnetic moment by vibrating a sample. And the vibrating sample generates the EMF by uh, the inductive by the, uh, as you know, in the fundamental uh, general physics, in the vibrating sample generates the 
generates the uh, current the magnetic field or the current inside the coil. Uh, uh, there, if there is a pickup pickup coil and a pickup coil uh, measure the uh, change of uh, magnetic magnetic field change, and uh, by measuring the magnetic field change, we can deduce the magnetic moment. That is the principle of the VSM. And uh, so NPMS means the magnetic property measurement system. It is uh, that is a commercialized commercialized magnetic system and uh, it used it used the squid system and the squid system is a different kind of me measurement system very very accurate accurate to measure the magnetic moments and uh, also it is a supernatant coil it made by the supernatant coil but it is a technical uh, technical that is far from in our um, course and anyway uh, when we apply magnetic, magnetic field in the magnetic moment, how to uh, mm, mm, how to uh, move and uh, uh, what is the, mm, how to move of the magnetic moment, and uh, we will study on the, on that. Here, uh, when I say in conclusion that when you apply magnetic field, magnetic moment precesses around the direction of magnetic uh, magnetic field. That is a precession. And for example, if there is a magnetic moment in this direction and the magnetic field applied in the G direction, for example, and there is an angle between magnetic moment and the magnetic field is theta, and in this case, the magnetic moment generates, the magnetic moment precesses around the magnetic field direction. And here, magnetic field direction is the 0, 0, B in G direction and also here in this case the energy energy of the magnetic moment on the magnetic field is uh, defined by that uh, M dot B yeah, therefore is minus M B cosine theta this is the energy of magnetic moment Uh, here, then we can define a torque, torque on the magnetic uh, moment, this is a torque G, and uh, M cross B, it is defined by the torque, torque on the magnetic moment, Torque is uh, force is kind of force of in the rotating system, and therefore torque in classical uh, classical mechanics and the uh, I cross F. It is uh, mm, torque torque direction is that uh, if there is an there is an all direction and uh, F force, then the torque is that I cross F. The, this direction is the torque direction uh, that is uh, uh, both proportional the torque direction is uh, proportional in both for force and uh, uh, displacement vector therefore in this torque on the magnetic moment also uh, here when we define that uh, magnetic moment and uh, magnetic field in the m cross b direction m cross b direction is that uh, this direction this direction is the uh, is the uh, outwarding direction from the page from this page this is uh, uh, torque direction uh, here mm, basically torque is that in mechanics Torque is the time derivative of angular momentum. Therefore, in this case also, torque is defined by the time derivative of angular momentum. Because angular momentum, uh, angular momentum and the magnetic moment is like this, and therefore it is that the one over gamma, the m, the t. Uh, therefore. DMDT, uh, it is that uh, M cross B, we say that, uh, therefore, 
dm dt is that gamma m cross b. Uh, that is the time rate. The rate of time change of magnetic moment uh, is proportional, is perpendicular, is perpendicular both to magnetic moment and the magnetic field. And it in case that the precession and uh, here uh, how to understand this precession in the less uh, let's solve this problem as a simple case in the above case when you apply magnetic field in the g direction and uh, let's think about that uh, mm, the equation of let's solve uh, let's solve the equation of motion on this case. And let, let's see the uh, example and the precession from this uh, from this equation, and here basically, and the magnetic field is zero zero b. We apply the magnetic field in the g direction, and uh, let's see. Let's copy this one. Oh, and also x y g direction x y g direction is is the uh, less defined that this is uh, x direction and the uh, g direction and the y direction from the right hand side you know, like this you can imagine anyway x y it is uh, perpendicular with each other like this yeah anyway Here, from from the above uh, above equation, and the uh, m dot that means that the time derivative time derivative is that uh, gamma i j k direction, and uh, m x m y m g is the uh, x y g component of magnetic moment, and the magnetic field is a zero zero b. Uh, here is that. From the relation of the determinants and the b gamma and the i m y minus j m x. Therefore, it is the uh, m x dot. The component of this equation is the gamma b m y. This is uh, x x component and the y component is that m y dot is that minus gamma b mx and the mg dot is zero. This uh, we uh, we can obtain the equation of motion in the each uh, each directions. Let's uh, have a time derivative second time derivative mx two dot mx two dot is that gamma b m y dot because m y dot is defined in the uh, second equation. Therefore, it is minus gamma square b square, gamma square b square, b square mx. It is very simple. mx two dot plus gamma b square mx equal zero. Now, therefore, when we define that. When you define that omega l is a frequency, frequency is that the gamma b, we call it is a Lamo frequency, Lamo precession frequency, Lamo uh, because this equation is the simple harmonic oscillator equation, and therefore, when you define that Lamo frequency. And the uh, mx two dot plus omega l square mx equal to zero. Uh, therefore, it is for the solution is you know it is very simple solution. And the uh, time dependent magnetic moment in the x component is that uh, let's define that alpha cosine omega l t plus delta x. Let's define uh, alpha is the amplitude and uh, del delta x is a phase. Uh, likewise, m y t also. Let's define that. Uh, let's 
let's write down as beta cosine omega l t plus delta y and here alpha and delta x beta and delta y are free parameter to be de de determined from the initial condition and also mg direction mgt is uh, because uh, time uh, derivative of mg is zero it is a constant but uh, in principle basically uh, when we because magnetic field is in the g direction and the magnetic moment in the figure we can say that the uh, magnetic moment is the m cosine zeta it is m cosine zeta it is uh, a g component a g component of magnetic moment well, therefore this is the equation and uh, let's find that let's find that uh, mx dot t mx dot t is that uh, minus alpha omega l sine omega l t plus delta x here let's define that uh, initial condition by by some assumptions let's think about that uh, uh, simple initial conditions and uh, uh, let's consider for the uh, how to move how to move the magnetic moment mm, here m y t dot also minus beta omega l sine omega l t plus delta y and here therefore or in this case uh, here let's suppose that the uh, xy projection of magnetic moment and uh, here the xy let's consider for it is xy plane xy plane and the magnetic moment in the in the xy plane uh, projection is the here m sine theta m sine theta here m sine theta is the uh, xy projection on the magnetic moment and uh, let's define that uh, m sine theta is the xy plane projection and uh, here phi is the angle between x x x direction uh, here uh, let's apply the initial conditions initial conditions means that mx t equal to zero mx t equal to zero is that alpha cosine delta x and in this case let's uh, let's uh, let's suppose that uh, it is m sine theta cosine phi this is a first condition and second condition is that the uh, m y t equal to zero is that uh, beta cosine delta y is that let's also uh, from this point of view and the uh, m sine theta sine phi this is is the y direction uh, initial condition of the y direction and also then the, we should think about that the uh, time derivative of the uh, magnetic moment in the t equal to zero in the minus alpha omega l sine delta x mm. here in this case uh, from the above equation from above equation is that uh, like this from this equation and also this equation and the uh, mx dot means that the uh, gamma b m y therefore it is that the uh, omega l m y t equal to zero mm, therefore it is that m omega l m y t equal to zero is the second equation and the uh, sine theta sine phi uh, let's denote as a third equation and the uh, m y dot t equal to zero is that minus beta omega l sine delta y and therefore 
it is like that uh, from a second from this equation also minus omega l mx t equal to zero and therefore it is from the first equation in the minus m omega l sine theta cosine phi it is a uh, 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 fourth equation for simplicity let's find that uh, phi equal to zero and uh, phi equal to zero magnetic moment is uh, starting from the x direction and uh, for simplicity then in this case uh, from the first first uh, first to fourth equation and uh, mx t equal to zero is that uh, alpha cosine delta x is that m sine theta this is a one prime equation uh, m y t equal to zero is that beta cosine delta y equal to m uh, here in this uh, sine phi is the zero and it is uh, second prime uh, from from this equation uh, delta y is that plus minus half pi yeah also mx dot t equal to zero is that minus alpha omega l sine delta x and uh, from the third equation it is also zero it is therefore from this equation and the uh, delta x equal to zero because delta x equal to zero and uh, from the from this first equation and uh, alpha alpha is that m sine theta therefore we find that like this and also m y dot t equal to zero is that minus beta omega l sine delta y is that uh, from the fourth equation and uh, minus beta omega l omega l sine uh, uh, not beta uh, m omega m omega l sine theta mm, therefore from this equation we can obtain that uh, and also is that uh, because delta uh, here delta y is the plus minus uh, half pi uh, therefore it is minus beta omega l uh, therefore uh, this is beta is that m sine theta this is uh, we find that uh, all the coefficient unknown uh, unknown uh, constants therefore in this case mx t mx t means that uh, from from this equation and the uh, we know that the alpha beta and the uh, delta x delta y and therefore alpha is that uh, m sine theta cosine omega l t delta x equal to zero and the uh, m y t is that uh, beta is the m sine theta and cosine omega l t plus delta y is that plus minus half pi mm, therefore it is that uh, minus plus from the uh, when you think about the plus direction uh, plus sign it is minus and the minus sign becomes plus therefore minus plus m sine theta sine omega l t uh, that is uh, m y and also m g t is that it is constant m cosine theta the, therefore it is an equation therefore we think about that uh, here magnetic moment and the uh, b direction and the uh, c direction is constant c direction is constant as uh, m cosine theta and also in the x y direction x y direction is the harmonic oscillation as uh, uh, m sine theta amplitude 
Therefore, it is a precession like this. Precession. And the frequency is the Lamo frequency, omega L. Therefore, it is uh, the solution indicates that it is a precession with Lamo frequency. Omega L is the gamma, gamma beta. Here is the beta we already know that is M sine theta. Therefore, it is a gamma M sine theta. It is a, a Lamo frequency. And also, uh, let's consider for the in the th uh, uh, let's consider for the single atomic magnetic moment. We call it as a Bohr magneton. It is a Bohr magneton. A Bohr magneton is the atomic magnet moment. In hydrogen, and uh, there is a positive, uh, positive proton in proton. And around the positive proton and the electron, electron revolving around the nucleus, and uh, like this electron, it is a proton, and the velocity v, and uh, let's let's define that there is a, a circular motion with the uh, r, and the electron revolving around the nucleus. Therefore, in this case. Uh, let's consider for the current, electric current. Electric current is that uh, the Q dt and the uh, time derivative of charge. And uh, in this case, the charge is the minus E is the charge. And the time is that the tau, tau is the orbital period, orbital period of the, uh, because in the one cycle, one revolving on the, around the nucleus, and uh, there is a time of the orbital period. Uh, therefore, in this case, the time of orbital period is that the uh, velocity is v, and uh, the revolving around the nucleus is the 2 pi r. Therefore, it is orbital period. Therefore, it is that the minus 1, uh, one, uh, 1 over tau is that 2 pi r and the e v. If we over two pi r, it is uh, electric current generate generating around the uh, proton nucleus. It is uh, hydrogen, simple hydrogen. Uh, you know that the magnetic moment is the I a. Therefore, here a is that uh, pi r square i, and uh, it is uh, defined for, uh, defined by that uh, gamma l, and therefore. Here the angular momentum, angular momentum is that uh, uh, r cross p and uh, r and p are perpendicular with each other. Therefore, it is uh, mvr. It is a uh, classical me uh, classical mechanics, and uh, mvr is the angular momentum. And uh, in quantum mechanics, from the Bohr, assume that there is a quantized value of the angular momentum. Uh, the quantized uh, a unit is the uh, h-bar. It means that the Planck constant divided by the 2 pi, and also it is quantized as an uh, integer number. Uh, therefore, here, magnet moment is that uh, pi r square, and uh, i means that here uh, e v over 2 pi r. Therefore, it is that uh, minus e v r over 2, and also, it is the it is that uh, v r in this case v r is that v r is n h bar over m. Therefore, it is minus v r means that uh, e h bar over two m. It is that uh, uh, magnetic moment. Here is the different thing is that the m means that magnetic moment and the m e means that electronic mass. We define that it is a Bohr magneton, mu b. Mm, therefore, it is a mu b is that uh, 
e h bar, we define that e h bar over 2m e, it is a bow magneton. Bow magneton is the magnetic moment of hydrogen. Magnetic moment of hydrogen. Yeah, anyway. Uh, here, when we calculating this value, is that 9.274 times 10 to the minus 24 ampere meter square. Ampere meter square is the uh, unit of magnetic moment uh, because in this case, the gyromagnetic ratio, gyromagnetic ratio is the gamma L, and uh, here in this case, minus E over 2Me is the gyromagnetic ratio. And uh, from this one, and the uh, uh, Lamo frequency is that uh, gamma B is Lamo frequency, therefore it is uh, e b over 2 m e. This is Lamo frequency. Because we, uh, they are widely used in the unit of magnetic moment. It is a basic unit of magnetic moment is the bow magneton, and therefore it is important to remember e h bar over 2 m e is a bow magneton. And therefore, we should uh, we need to remember this hmm, the definition. Uh, anyway, and uh, it is it is basic uh, principle, uh, basic moment, basic theory of uh, magnetic moments, and also here in classical or uh, in classical electrodynamics, electromagnetism. And uh, we define that the uh, magnetization and the magnetization is the uh, bulk magnetic property. And the magnetic moment is the elementary, elementary basic, uh, basic magnetic uh, ma magnetic building block. And, but uh, in bulk materials, there we should define that the uh, magnetization. Uh, in classical electromagnetism, we define that the uh, magnetization, definition of magnetization is the magnetization is the divide, magnetic moment divided by the volume. Uh, therefore, it is a V means that volume of material. Uh, therefore, when we apply, there is uh, magnetic materials. Uh, there is some it is magnetic materials. When you apply magnetic field, uh, when you apply magnetic field, applying magnetic field, we we uh, we usually uh, denote by H. Then there is uh, induced magnetization. Induced magnetization is the uh, is the magnetization. Then the applying the total total magnetic Feel is that uh, there is a B feel. B feel is the consider considering with the applying magnetic field and the magnetization. Uh, therefore, here in free space, in free space, the magnetic field magnetic field is defined by the mu zero h. H is that uh, applying magnetic field and uh, B field is the considering for the magnetic materials and uh, if there is no materials, it is identical. It is B field and H field is identical but the proportional factor mu zero is the permeability and the mu zero is that uh, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. The unit is the H per meter, Halley per meter. Halley per meter, it is a magnetic permeability. Permeability of free space. I think that you already know that the finish of magnetization and the permeability from the basic 
uh, electromagnetism and uh, general physics. And the unit of magnetic field, B field unit, is the Tesla. And the uh, H field, the unit usually uh, use ampere per meter. And uh, for example, in the one Gauss is the 10 to the minus 4 Tesla. And uh, 10, 10 to the 4 uh, 10 to the 4 Gauss is a 1 Tesla and the 1 Gauss if, is can be calculated by the, the 10 to the 3 over 4 pi ampere per meter. But when you think about that, uh, uh, when you think about uh, uh, magnetic materials in a magnetic solid, Magnetic solid, B field should uh, consider both of the magnetic field plus magnetization. And it is a uh, summation of magnetization is that uh, uh, under when you apply magnetic field in a magnetic solid. Here we define that we write down as a mu H. And it's uh, similar with uh, mu zero H. Mu zero is uh, permeability of a free space, and the mu is that uh, permeability of materials. And the uh, magnetic here, it is magnetic permeability. It is magnetic permeability. And anyway, and uh, if there is a magnetic field and the magnetization has a relation with with uh, uh, applying magnetic field and uh, proportional constant we call it as uh, magnetic susceptibility therefore the magnetic susceptibility is the, the m over h uh, therefore it is magnetic susceptibility and I also think that you already know that the uh, definition of magnetic susceptibility. It is a vector divided by the vector, therefore it is a tensor in general. But uh, the direction of magnet magnetization is parallel with the with the direction of magnetic field. It is a constant value as a scalar scalar quantity. But the magnetization and the magnetic field direction are different, then in general it is a, a tensor uh, quantity. And therefore, when we uh, rewrite the B field, B field is the mu zero, mu zero, uh, when the H, uh, uh, here 1 plus chi H, mu zero M. Mm, M is that the chi H. Uh, here we write, we can think that the mu zero mu r H. Here mu r is the relative permeability. Mu r is relative permeability one plus chi. It is a uh, relative permeability. And here mu is that. Uh, Magnetic permeability is that uh, mu zero one plus chi. It is a uh, magnetic permeability. Uh, in the experiment, we measure magnetic susceptibility by measuring the magnetization, and also there are two kinds of magnetic susceptibility measurements. One is that OMO m over h. When we apply the DC constant magnetic field, then the magnetization can be measured uh, in a static uh, static measurements. And uh, it is a static electro uh, static magnetic susceptibility, but when you uh, when you apply magnetic field as uh, bearing AC field bearing AC field, then the magnetization also may have the different with respect to applying magnetic field. It is uh, AC AC susceptibility, and it is a DC susceptibility. Uh, DC susceptibility is the uh, the um, the applying magnetic field is constant, and the AC magnetic susceptibility is that the magnetic field varying with the frequency, and here is the frequency dependent, 
frequency dependent magnetic field uh, not 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 H but M actually uh, the magnetization depends on the shape of the sample and uh, therefore we should think about that uh, shape factor the shape factor is the we define we, we can say that it's a demagnetization factor If the magnetic field is applied along the one direction of principal axis of the ellipsoid, for example, when you think about the sample is like this shape, and uh, when you apply magnetic field, this magnetic field can have the penetrate one. One magnetic field can penetrate one. The other field it can be escaped from the sample. Uh, therefore. And the uh, magnetic field direction is uh, slightly bended and uh, distortion of magnetic field um, depending on the magnetization of the sample. And therefore, we, th we should think about that, uh, we should think about the shape factor. Uh, therefore, when, when we, the internal magnetic field, because of shape, because of changing of magnetic field, uh, magnetic field distribution around the sample and uh, Internal magnetic field is different from the applied magnetic field. Therefore, here internal magnetic field, internal magnetic field is different from the applied magnetic field, like a minus n magnetization. And uh, uh, when uh, when the magnetization is uh, significant, uh, the the demagnetization factor here n is that uh, demagnetization factor. Demagnetization means that uh, many, uh, applying magnetic field decreases with uh, by depending on the magnetization uh, field. Uh, here, this uh, minus n m we call it is a demagnetizing factor. And the uh, demagnetizing factor depends on the shape of the sample. Uh, therefore, here internal internal B field internal B field is that the mu zero H i plus m. Therefore, H i is that H a minus n m. Therefore, it is uh, B a B a is that mu zero H a uh, plus mu zero one minus n M here, uh, therefore, it is uh, internal magnetic field is different from the applying magnetic field, and also a simple case is that uh, for thin rod, <coughs> for thin rod, the dimension factor is zero uh, because the thin rod. Uh, when you think about very thin rod, and the applying magnetic field do not uh, do not deflect it, just only the when you apply magnetic field and the uh, magnetic field is almost same, therefore applying magnetic field and the uh, internal magnetic field is uh, almost close with each other, therefore the n equal zero for thin rod. But the uh, infinite sheet, infinite sheet means that uh, if there is uh, like this. By applying magnetic field and uh, applying magnetic field inside the materials and uh, may have the like this, it is uh, mm, somehow it gives rise to uh, mm, this demagnetization factor may have the uh, 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 lens uh, low and the uh, lens low direction and the uh, very in the because when you apply magnetic field. The inside materials may increase increases magnetic field energy, but uh, uh, in in nature, 
and the uh, energy should be decreased as can as possible and therefore to increase to decrease the energy and uh, demagnetization factor uh, contributes to diminish the magnetic field energy and therefore it is in the infinite sheet case and uh, it is very the internal magnetic field the internal energy increases significantly and therefore the demagnetizing factor is uh, is the highest. Therefore, in infinite sheet, it is uh, n equal to one. And in a spare spare case, n equal one third. In general, uh, in general, in the ellipsoid case, when you think about the ellipsoid like this kind of ellipsoid and also in here it is a C direction and uh, like this A B C direction like an ellipsoid the magnetization Vector of one ellipsoid, ellipsoid case here. Uh, the first case, uh, for a late spheroid. Uh, prolate spheroid means that the rod type, rod type A equal B, uh, but uh, different from C, and uh, C over A, we can we define that R, then it is uh, N A and N B equal to four pi minus N C over uh, eight pi. And uh, NC is like uh, 1 over I square minus 1 and R over square root I square minus 1 and then R plus square root I square minus 1 minus 1. I did not deduce this, uh, this result but uh, you can use this value, you can use this result when you measure the magnetization in a uh, arbitrary in the ellipsoid shape, in this case we assume that for long, long rod, long rod approximation, and uh, it means that the uh, R is very large, and uh, in here and N A and N B equal to this uh, N C means that. Uh, for r equal r is very large, and here what of r square and the uh, n two r minus one because in the uh, cancel in the um, ln factor, and therefore for uh, n c becomes to zero. Therefore, it is one half for thin rod. Therefore, here for thin rod N A and B one half each, each one. Therefore, total N equal to uh, uh, total N. Yeah, in B direction, B direction means that A direction and B direction is one half, and the C direction is zero. When you apply man field in the, along the C direction, it is very it is it is zero. And the uh, second case is the oblate spheroid. It means that the uh, disk type and uh, A is greater than B and the C is small. It is a disk type. Here and A is that uh, pi over 4, C over A. 1 minus a minus b over 4a minus 3 over 16 
a minus b over a square and uh, nb is that pi over 4 c over a 1 plus 5a minus b over 4a plus 21 over 16 a minus b over a square in also in here also na plus nb plus nc equal to 1 uh, in a any uh, in a approximation and uh, as a thin disk thin disk approximation and in this case also r is very large and in here in this uh, na and n b equal to zero for r equal r is very large it is a thin disk c is very small and also n c equal to one. Uh, which is corresponds with the uh, infinite rod and also uh, therefore in this case therefore intrinsic magnetic susceptibility intrinsic magnetic susceptibility is that M over H in, uh, uh, internal magnetic field. Mm, therefore, when we uh, for large demagnetization factor, magnetic field becomes smaller. Internal magnetic field becomes smaller than the applying magnetic field. Therefore, magnetic susceptibility becomes uh, becomes bigger than the uh, without considering the demagnetization factor. And uh, also experimental. Experimental magnetic susceptibility is that the real value and uh, for magnetization measurement divided by the applying uh, magnetic field. And therefore, an experiment is that magnetization burst HI plus NM is that M over HI over 1 plus NM over HI then it is chi, chi internal or divide by 1 plus n chi internal. Uh, therefore, for uh, uh, a small internal, for small internal magnetic susceptibility and uh, Experimental magnetic susceptibility is almost close to the internal magnetic susceptibility, but uh, very high internal magnetic susceptibility is that uh, experimental magnetic susceptibility is close to 1 over m, 1 over n. Uh, therefore, in many cases, and the uh, demagnetization factor uh, usually to the uh, uh, in many cases in experiment. Uh, therefore, and the uh, internal magnetic susceptibility is that uh, experimental magnetic susceptibility divided by 1 minus n external uh, experimental magnetic susceptibility. Uh, therefore, in uh, in many cases in experiment and uh, to minimize to minimize the uh, uh, demagnetization factor, we use the, the shape like this one and applying magnetic field in this direction in polycrystalline material but uh, in a single crystal materials we need to measure the uh, directional uh, magnetization value and uh, in the case of the um, different direction uh, different direction if the sample is enough B comparing with the magnetic field direction and the uh, magnetic field region then we should think about the demagnetization factor in the experiment.